Hello guys, uh, welcome. Today we'll be looking at uh, Rate Builder for Quantity Surveyors, which is a tool that I've been using over the years. Uh, so we all know that uh, rate building is the process of determining the unit cost of various construction activities and materials. This involves calculating the cost per unit of measurement for each item, considering factors such as labor, material, plant, overhead, and profit margin. So there are various steps in rate building, which is uh, uh, we have to break down the construction activity into measurable units, and then you have to identify the resources required for each unit, including labor, materials, and equipment. And uh, we also have to calculate the cost of each resource by considering current market rate and productivity factors. And we have to add overhead, cost and desired profit margins to the basic cost to arrive at the final rate. And also we have to analyze the derived rate for accuracy and benchmarking them against industry standards. So um, we'll be looking at the importance of uh, of rate building for uh, uh, quantity surveyors. Um, as you can see, the first point there is accurate cost estimation. Uh, you know, uh, the primary function is to, you know, build accurate rates, uh, which is uh, crucial for quantity surveyors to provide precise cost estimate for construction projects. It, and it, um, it helps in um, developing detailed budgets and controlling costs throughout the project life cycle. And also we have tendering and bidding. Accurate rate building ensures competitive and realistic bids during the tendering process, helps in determining appropriate profit margins and minimizing the risks of underbidding. And uh, we also have our cost management, which enables effective allocation of resources, ensuring that materials, labor, and equipment are used efficiently. And uh, we have... Uh, Financial reporting, which uh, it means uh, it assists in forecasting cash flows and financial planning for the project. It provides a basis for financial auditing and ensures transparency and accountability in project finances. So um, we'll be looking at this tool that I've been using over the years. So, uh, as you can see, this is the rate builder. Um, first of all, you must have done your uh, your normal uh, market uh, survey. So, when you're done with your market survey, you've gotten some little costs. We're just going to look at uh, building up rates for concrete. So you can build up rates for any all all sections of work as you can see i have the roof all you just need to do is to include all of this information that you've gotten from the market and you can develop your rate for a complete uh, uh building project so um as you can see we already have but this is an old rate so whether you are from ghana are you from nigeria uh, kenya south africa Uganda, you can also use this uh, uh, rate builder to build your rates. And all you just need to do is to fix in the cost over here. And it does the work for you in the rates uh, summary. Okay. And uh, all you just have to do is to include the labor rates. And also uh, for the equipment, you input the price there. So let's just jump into this uh, without uh, much talk. So as you can see, first of all, let's say uh, for dangle tasement, if you have, let's say, this is the price here. Some some might say it 11,000, some 12, 5. So all we just need to do, we will just input all of this. But to be on the safer side, I will just put everything on 12,000 there. So let's assume also that uh, for the other uh, 
for the other cement for boa this is the cost and uh, let's just say all oh, this 12,000 let's say 13,000 and uh let's just see this is uh let's assume this is 13,000 uh, this is 13,000 and uh, this is 13,000 so let's assume that uh, the gravel here is let's say 160 so this should be after you're done with your market survey you can put all of this let's say 170 so for just to use time i'm just going to drag and drop this you know i'm just going to drag and drop this going to drag and drop this just going to drag and drop this okay so um let's assume the sharp sign is at uh, 180 So you could see, oh, one eighty. Let's give here one ninety. So all you just need to do, go to the market or ask your supplier how much is for a trip, and he's gonna tell you. And all you just need to do is to fix in the details here. And when you're done, so I think we've already covered everything that we will need for uh, concrete. So let's just uh, input the information over here for our, um, so let's just look at the, the cost even for, uh, let's look at the cost for, as you can see over site here is already 260. So when we start inputting all of this, you're going to see some changes. And as you can see, the concrete here, what we have in here, 91 for this, uh, for all of this uh, mix. So take notes, this is uh, 91. And uh, we're going to see uh, what will happen immediately. We're done fixing the cost uh, for the for the walkers down there so let's just fix everything quickly as you can see it covers for a lot of, of everything so now let's assume you're paying your laborers uh Let's say you're paying them 3000 and uh, you're paying your artisan, let's say, uh, let's say four, five. And let's say your foreman, you're paying, uh, oh, sorry, four, five. And your foreman, let's say you're paying six thousand and your concrete mixer your concrete uh, operator you pay him uh let's see six thousand and also let's assume that uh over here for your equipment let's assume uh fifty five thousand so immediately you're done with this all you just need to do is to but once everything is updated in this in this uh, price bank, the rate summary will automatically generate itself. So as you can see, what we are having here is an increase. We now have 119, 119 as the rate. So all you just need to do is to pick up this rate and round them up to the nearest decimal place and you input it in your bill of quantity. So if you want this, uh, um, this, uh, 
tool, just uh, you can get in touch with me or you can uh, purchase it in the description below. Thank you.